The big takeaway that I think both buyers and sellers need to understand is the acceleration of programmatic and automation, not just uh, where it largely came from, which was more towards the bottom of the market, but the automation of the buying and selling of premium inventory. And that we're able to do that in a context where buyers and sellers have complete control, but they can bring many of the benefits of programmatic, such as uh, advertiser and publisher data uh, to bear on, uh, on generating the best result. So where do you think the industry will be in 18 months? Well, it's a, it's a very interesting question. Uh, you know, a lot of people are predicting half um, of all media will be automated in some way uh, in the, a three-year time horizon. Uh, so I think that's a good bet. I think certainly you're seeing the innovation in display um, in mobile, and I think a big area to watch is linear TV um, because you can go after the online video, the connected, uh, over-the-top pieces, um, but you're going to start to see more pieces around linear TV, and that will help accelerate video overall. The Rubicon Project, uh, we're a technology company. Our mission is to automate the buying and selling of advertising. Uh, so we provide a platform uh, used by some of the largest publishers in the world, including News Digital in Australia, The Guardian, um, Wall Street Journal, Time Inc., uh, the Laplace Consortium in France, and they onboard their inventory into the system and can either conduct an auction for their inventory to the over 100,000 advertisers in our system, or they can trade privately their premium inventory with any of the global ad holding companies, operating agencies, or advertisers. Be extrapolate to the whole network and, and to the whole uh, uh, territories. So front is leveraging client relationship, diversification, client retention, and acquisition.